All right. Hey, everybody. This is Happy, also known as Andrea, or Andrea, also known as Happy. Oh, I'm, who knows? All right. With another tutorial. I'm not on screen today um, because I just want to focus on this. And I want to be a real quick tutorial. So the question was asked um, how to uh, create a photo that has a background and has uh, people on top. So I am in the desktop version. Um, because that was the easiest one for me to record this uh, tutorial. So here I have this image and I have um, a bunch of images that I want to put in the background. And then I have a bunch of images that I want to put in the foreground. So notice when I select this, there's this layers panel over here. So there are layers. And so these layers are what's going to help us put something in the foreground and in the background. And if you look at it, you can see that the top layer is this one. Then the lady peeking out the side, that's another layer. Um, and then, you know, so forth and so on, um, are other layers. So um, that's how, and you can rearrange these layers. Like I can move this since I can't see it, I can just grab it and drag it and put it up. And now I see that that layer um, is on top. Okay. Um, I still can't see what's happening in it, but, you know, sometimes every now and then, um, express because it is an app that's working in the browser, the browser feels overworked. So then the browser is like, oh, you know what, I'm giving out. So that's kind of what's happening. So whenever that happens, I just refresh and then um, wait for it to come back and, um, and hope that it's happy. And right now it's happy again. So this part's pretty cool. So again, I'm gonna click on this and I'll get my uh, layers back and here, um, we have it. So you saw how easy it was to solve that issue, which is kind of cool. All right. So I know that these, so these are the layers that I want to be up front. So I'm going to put those down here. And what I want to do is figure out how I want to configure this background. So this is the image that I want to be my main image. So I'm actually going to add it to the background. So I'm going to click on it. And over here, remember, whatever you click on is context sensitive. So I click on this and the menu shows um, options over here, which is so awesome. So what I wanna do with this one is I want this to be the background. So this little toggle right here, where it says add to background, I'm gonna click on that and you see the magic and it adds it to my background, which is so cool. All right, and then you have options. You can flip it, you can rotate it, all that fun stuff, um, resize it and things like that are over here. But that's not what I'm happy with it like that. What I'm going to do is with this photo, I want to remove the background. So I'm going to click it. Express makes this so easy for you to actually remove the background. Check this out. So I'm going to click it. And all I have to do is go over here to where you see that remove background and watch this magic happens. It is just the craziest, right? And it is going to go through and it removed that background. Super easy. What also happens because I'm not on the free version, so I'm on the premium version, is that I have a brush and I can further refine this. But if you don't see this option, you're on the free version, no worries. I'm not going to use it right now. So no big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and check this to tell it that it is okay. And then I'm happy with it. I'll move that down here. Next one that I have is this image. And um, I'm not sure if I want to remove the background or actually do a blend mode with this one. So if I did a blend mode with this one, what it does is it's going to actually look at the background and it's going to um, remove the white or it'll remove the, the it'll remove the white or to remove the black depending on which blend mode we use and um, um, and the other one is normal which is where we are right now so I'm gonna go down here to oh also I forgot to tell you and also there are filters uh, that we can use as well and see these filters right here that I can but I went too far down I'm gonna go back up to blend mode in a second but see these filters that we can use here and we can make changes. And let's say we did this one and you're like, oh, that's just too orange, but I really like the effect. You get options with the filters. Oh yeah, you get options. So yeah, we chose dual tone. Well, down here are the different colors that we can choose that are preset. So if I wanted to do this pink and white, or if I wanted to do this blue and blue, if I wanted to do this purple and blue, I have options. But if, if we're like, oh, I don't really like any of those, Right here, if you hover over it, you'll see a little menu come up. You click that, 
you get this eyedropper. And then I can go through and start changing some of this. So maybe I want some of this darker yellow, oh, sorry, darker orange just down here. And then maybe for this one, I want lighter. So I'm gonna click that, click on this eyedropper. And then all I have to do is come over here and click a lighter area if I see one. And there you have it. So that's something we're gonna do. Now, that's not what we're gonna do. I just wanted to make sure I showed you that. I'm gonna turn that, but you have other filters as well. This video isn't about that. That'll be another video. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. You also have enhancements and blur. This video isn't about that. That'll be another video. So um, for now, we're looking at this. And what I can do is up here, I see normal, and this is where I can change it to either of the two blend modes. So I can either go multiply, which is gonna remove the white, notice that, um, um, but it also interacts with the background, which is lovely, or I can choose screen, which is gonna remove the darker colors and also interact with that background. That's how you're seeing that orange um, fall through. I'm actually gonna go for multiply and I'm going to go ahead and extend this so that it is just this large picture in the background. Okay, and then I'm gonna find an area that I like right there looks good. And if this is too strong, cause you notice how it kind of is taking over what I have happening in the background. I could also reduce the opacity just to lighten it up a little bit so that that background comes through. Okay, so I have that option as well. Okay, so we've solved the issue number one of um, making multiple images uh, for the background. All right, so the next thing that I want to do is we want to bring these images on top and see, actually, they're already on top, but let's just say it wasn't. Let's say this was way down here, you know, then all I would have to do is bring that image up and just move it around. So you can shuffle things around as well. Um, it's not really affecting anything below it. So you're not really seeing anything happen, but that's how you move it around. All right, so I'm gonna remove the background on some of these. So let me just go ahead and click remove background on her. I actually want her peeking. So let me just see, I'm gonna hit okay. I love how she's peeking out the side, but I kinda wanna make her peek out, maybe out this bowl. I don't know, you know what? Things just come to my head, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm gonna remove this background. There we go, and I just have her. I'm gonna say, okay, yep, that's what I want. I'm gonna maybe move her like right here. Don't ask. The mind of me is just an amazing, it's an interesting thing. All right, and I'll remove her background as well. And I, I tend to bring a lot of photos out and I usually don't use half of them, so we'll see. So if you see me start erasing photos it is, or deleting photos is because, you know, I didn't need it. Okay, so now, I now it's, oh, and this one. I don't know that I wanna remove that background. I really, really like that background. I was trying to think of a way, you know, first I was thinking I wanted to blend this one or it might not work with this photo. So let's just see how this goes. Let me see how this looks. Oh, I just love that. Okay, so I may want to um, let's just see what it looks like. Let's multiply screen. So that's a ghost. And then, you know what? One of my big things is if the photo isn't working, you toss it. But before I toss this one, I'm going to remove this background just to see if maybe I can use her. Is this things that'll work, I can. Okay, so I'm gonna hit, okay. So now I think I want to, let me see what I wanna do. Let me move these out the way so I can see how I wanna compose this. But in any event, actually, I don't have to compose it because really uh, we have already solved the issue of how you can, um, but you know, how you can, um, I'm gonna make her, I'm gonna put her on top. So that's not that harsh shoulder. Okay, cool. And then I'm gonna bring her over to the side. Probably gonna make her a little smaller. Actually, you know what? I'd wanna reverse these two. We'll see. Now we're hiding, oh, no, I'm not gonna do that because then we're hiding our girl. So what I am gonna do, let me undo this, is I'm going to flip her because I don't like that she's leading us off the page. Hang on one second, let me actually bring her back. There we go. I'm going to flip her 
So I'm going to click over here where it says flip horizontal. I'm going to flip her this way so that she's not off of the page. And so what I have, I might make this a little bit smaller. So what I have is, um, there we go. So what I have is these three images, right? So all of these images are on top. This image is in the background. Um, we are all happy. What I might do though, is I also like to make them look like they're a part of uh, the image in some way. So I'm gonna go to enhancement. I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna change, um, I'm trying to figure if I want blur or if I want enhancement. Let's let's see if what I want is a filter. It is. I'm gonna play with the filters and multiply that into the scene. Okay, so I like that look. Let me do the same with her. Um, so filter. And then I'm gonna go down to multiply, and it did it automatically. Sweet. Do the same with this one. I'm gonna go to filter. On, my, on the phone, if you're on the phone, this is under looks. And that's what I was looking for, it under looks. And I'm just gonna go to filter. And what this does is kind of tones them down, kind of looks at the overall picture and tries to um, blend them in uh, with the background just a little bit, give it some interactivity. All right, so I'm gonna go back to filter and I'm gonna go down to multiply. And there we have it. And so now they're not so bright, taking over the scene. I got um, this young lady peeking out. I wanted to show just a little bit more of her peeking out of the side. Okay. And there we go. So this is how you would, um, hopefully this answers the question of combining these images in the background and adding the pictures on top. You're adding the pictures on top because you're layering. So. Hopefully that solves your issue. Hopefully this wasn't too long. Hopefully this is helpful to Mari. Um, if it did, leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know. All right. So there is our video for our uh, tutorial for the day. Quick tutorial. Good question. Thanks for asking. Um, if you have any more, ask anytime, and I'll make a video. All right. So until next video. Ta-ta for now.